Uh, this is TechTrader, the technology behind uh, our company. It's a fully autonomous trading system that's run with no human intervention uh, for over four years now. When I say fully autonomous, I mean no tweaking, no updates. The code is literally just running. It's not quant, it's not static, it's not high frequency. It's literally a machine that trades like a human being. I accept that it can clone itself thousands of times over and watch every stock that's out there. Uh, the reason why I say fully autonomous and not artificial intelligence is it's not really anything that's already out there. Uh, usually when people say artificial intelligence or machine learning, they're really describing something that's more like a sensor. Uh, your five senses or something that's akin to muscle memory. You train the system. You do repetition. It's like your eyes and ears but it's not really a brain. Uh, there's another branch of AI that's more like a decision maker, uh, some of it's reinforcement learning, but usually they can't handle a lot of data very well, and you don't see it much in industry. Uh, for me, the idea was, if you have something that behaves like a body, like your five senses, and you have something that can't handle that much data, but it's more of a decision maker, why not connect the two? You have your body now feeding into something that's like a mind. Uh, we actually add a third component because just these two isn't enough. It only learns from the past. But we add something we call imagination that lets it look forward into the future by imagining what could be instead of just learning from what has happened. Uh, when you put the three together, it's something that behaves more like an animal. I like to call it cognitive artificial intelligence because uh, it's not really good at parsing data. Uh, the analogy, it's like if you were to cross a road, you wouldn't crunch all these thousands of variables. You would just look down the street, see that there's no car, and you would know it's physically impossible to be hit by one. Uh, that's kind of the difference in logic in our system versus a lot of what people consider machine learning, uh, which is more like stats, regression, or quant, uh, versus what we have here at, uh, we call TechTrader. Uh, TechTrader can be seen as the first example of uh, cognitive artificial intelligence that I created. Thank you. John, quickly, then okay. we've got to be really quick on the question. Who's going to buy that? Who's, that? Who's going to buy that? Oh, it's not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> no, we keep it just running for ourselves. Okay, so how does somebody interact with your company? Do you want investors to give you money for you to manage, or what? Uh, we have um, so we have some ideas around like trading. So we have businesses or products around trading, but the technology itself is something we keep in house. So that's something you know we talk more offline on, just because there's a lot of regulation around that space. Okay. Julia, but we you wish you could do a PowerPoint like that. Well, it's a impressive PowerPoint. It's that's true. And uh, so if there are it's it, clearly the, the heart of it is no human interaction. But in terms of the growth of your business, what do you think is the biggest um, so wh where where do you find your talent? How big is your company? Oh, uh, it's me and one other person. And in terms of growth, are you looking to hire more people or what what is your what is your intention? Uh, right now, we're trying, so the trading, um, it basically compounds itself. So we're trying to increase the capital base to trade more and more. Uh, but outside of that, I'm actually looking for other people that understand how I'm approaching the technology. Because mm -hmm. I personally think that the way I designed the algorithm, the AI in TechTrader, can be generalized to run on other things besides just the stock market. But, um, that project's called Conopus. And how much money do you make? Uh, I'm not to pay the bills. No, you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> How big are your bills? <laughs> okay, audience. Let's look at the audience. Questions from the audience. Here we go. Quickly. So, so what are your returns then? No. Yeah. Uh, that's something that, you know, we can talk more offline, but I can't really disclose that. The SEC is very strange. I mean, does it, do you have a day where you lose money? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, so that's the funny part is like people always assume AI means that it's super intelligent, that it never loses money or something like that. Uh, but our broker actually didn't know we were automated trading until we told them like six months in, it's like, hey, we don't actually push any buttons. And they're like, really? I look at the trade data, it looks just like any human trading. So they couldn't tell the difference. Uh, the one thing, the reason why I pointed out earlier that we are not quant or stat or high frequency is because 
It's really a machine doing something that human traders already do on a regular basis. It's just that I don't actually have to be there. Sounds dangerous to me. <laughs> Any more questions? So, so what do you trade exactly? Uh, US stocks, but we also have cryptocurrencies. Uh, we tested it on Asia data, and it works OK as well. Uh, so, so not like the index, you're just specific stocks? That uh, anything that trades on the exchanges. So it could be specific stocks, it could be ETFs, ADRs. Is that consistent? Sorry, you're just going to have to buy okay. it, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so our website is techtrader.ai. Everything is kind of up there for people to see. One more, one more very quick question. Sorry, I've got to be brutal on timing here if we're going to get through this. One quick question here. This guy's smart to watch it. What, what kind of data is, is it, are your models consuming? Is it, is just it, price and volume. It's just market data. There's no other. Yeah, the, so that's kind of the funny thing is uh, despite it being fully automated, uh, it's using the same data that me when I'm trading use. Uh, I personally don't see why just an AI, if it's truly intelligent, why does it need more data than what I use? Right. Great. So I think we'll call that quits there. As I say right at the end of these sessions, you will be able to answer or vote. Is that via the app, Susie? That is via the app. That's via the app. Uh, brilliant. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.